Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have Redditor showing its GeForce RTX 4080 Founders Edition getting a white variant of himself, he made that, so that's interesting. Galax introducing DDR5 8000 Hall of Fame memories, so that's really interesting that they're bringing in Hall of Fame in RAMs here now. NVIDIA broadcast can now defect your eyes? Updated AMD Radeon RX 7900 drivers reduces the power consumption, which is great in FPS titles. And lastly, we have Galax launching their GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Hall of Fame for overclocking. Interesting. So firstly, we have Redditor Technomage13 posting this, that he made his own 4080 white edition of the Founders Edition GeForce RTX 4080. Basically, he painted that, which is interesting. Obviously, you can do that if you want to. And it looks very nice if you like white variant, though to me, it, I would prefer the fins to be white and the border should be black, you know, that rather like I would switch these colors, the black to white and white to black, that would look, I believe that would look much better. But then again, I understand that it really would be hard to do it because the fins are basically the heatsink and well, you have to do it for all the, all of the yeah, I understand. It's more pain, and you know. So I guess this is much easier to do, and well, it look it doesn't look bad either. So you know, that's uh, props to him that he made this. Though it will void your warranty, so be careful if you don't want to void your warranty. But still, it looks good, and if you don't care about warranties and about aesthetics, I don't really see the problem here. Next up, we have Galax to introduce their DDR5 8000 Hall of Fame memories here, and if you look into it, they basically the same aesthetic that they're going for with the Hall of Fame variants of GPUs now with the RAMs here and that looks very interesting with RGB of course basically that's the that's how the GPU looks like but now for the RAM I kind of uh, don't mind this aesthetic it's not bad white maybe they might introduce a black variant but then again Hall of Fame was never black but yeah like it doesn't look that bad so yeah Hall of Fame and again this is a DDR5 8000 uh, dim here so quite speed speed enough i'm pretty sure the ex price will be more expensive because they haven't enclosed their pricing yet so we might have to wait next up we have nvidia broadcast 1.4 they have added this eye contact and vignet effect with virtual background uh background enhancement here and if you look into it this is the demonstration that they have introduced that this is the eye contact off basically you're not looking at the camera but if you enable that feature well basically the eyes will be defaked and it will look directly into the camera basically you know just to i don't know if you really need this or not but still i mean for i guess for conference you sometimes it can happen that your eyes don't really stay directly into the camera so i guess you can use this feature but then again it's kind of crazy that ai can do such thing and very interesting and they also added the vignette background and stuff as you can see it can blur the background which is very much nice and also like makes the side a bit darker that's what vignette does you know so yeah very interesting that uh they can do this so yeah very very exciting in terms of ai upgrades so I have to say, they're doing some good job here in terms of NVIDIA broadcast, so keep up. Next up, we have Computer Base have benchmarked their new drivers that supports for the RX 7900 XT and XTX. So if you look into the performance here, as you can see in the YouTube videos, the, I mean, it did improve a little bit here in complete idle. Like, it also stays the same, like, in terms of, like, what, as you can see, it stays the same. But if you look into the gaming here, Right down in Doom Eternal, we're using the 4K or 4K and 1440p data here, and if with maximum FPS, it remains the same. Like as you can see, launch driver and 22.12.2 remains the same in terms of performance. But when we cap the FPS to 144 FPS right here, look at the performance difference or wattage difference, not the performance. This is the wattage, and as you can see, 7900 XTX, as you can see, is using only 158 watts compared to the launch driver which is 248 as you can see which is a huge drop in terms of wattage a huge drop like using like as you can see it's it's around like if you move into the cursor here it's around 57 percent or the 7900 xtx launch driver is 57 percent higher in terms of 
wattage, which is crazy. Definitely crazy. And same goes to the 7900 XT with the newest driver. It's sucking less power. As you can see, 169 watt compared to 226. That's a massive drop, I have to say. And if you look into the performance per watt with 144 FPS limit, we have the percentage, like as you can see, the launch driver uh, for the 7900 XTX, if you compare, uh, compare it to the 7900 XTX, is 57% more efficient, as you can see. And same goes for the 7900 XT, it's 34% fa uh, more efficient compared to the 7900 XT launch driver. So that is, a, I have to say, it's a huge improvement in terms of uh, when you obviously when you cap the FPS, the amount of wattage that you will use is far less. So props to the drivers, but I wonder if everything is fine with the drivers, as we have heard that the you know the drivers are causing some weird problems for the GPUs. I don't know what's going on, but still this is a this is good news for the AMD drivers, of course. And next up we have. Again, Galax coming in with their GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Hall of Fame this time. Well, I think this is completely unnecessary because like 4070 Ti is not in the top of the line GPU and getting a Hall of Fame kind of really takes away the Hall of Fame brand, if you know what I mean. But then again, if you want to get the same aesthetic as the Hall of Fame, well, Galax has it covered for you, but for the lower end RTX 4070 Ti GPU and well, it doesn't look that bad. It looks the same as a 4090 and well, it's much thinner, that's for sure. And well, this is the basically the same spec, so the aesthetic won't change and the specs remains the same. But yeah, that's just that is for obviously for the extreme overclocker, so highly bend uh die probably, so that is a thing that you need to keep in keep that in mind. Also the pricing. Like we don't know the pricing yet, but you can expect that it's gonna be very much expensive, without a doubt. All right, that is it for today. What do you think about the drivers here? Do you think it's going to be like, what do you think about, I want to ask, did, is, are those drivers reliable now? Because, you know, the the story about drivers causing troubles with the GPUs, like, I don't know what's the story behind that. But I guess we will find out if these drivers are stable or not, or won't cause anything. I haven't faced any problem because I also use a AMD GPU. I haven't faced any problem with the newest drivers, so... I guess, like, let's see what happens. Till then, have a good day, and of course, like, share, and subscribe. See ya.